when it first happened, I didn't think it was going to hit my house. So I guess I was kind of stubborn. I was busy watching the flood at the bridge right near the golf resort. And it was amazing to watch, just to see all the logs, the houses go by. Didn't really dawn on me that it's going to go that high to my home. Within seconds, uh, the water came right over and it just took everything outside the house, inside. All the community was just underwater. That was a, quite the picture. Uh, we had 15 minutes to get out. Yeah. And by the time I left, it was to my van and my daughter was screaming her head off. And yeah, we left and it was very traumatizing. We left with a week's worth of clothes and that's it. My community is washed right out and there was over 45 homes in our community alone. And there's a few people living back there, but never be the same again. Uh, memories, um, where our ancestors walked through, lived through these homes also that passed on. Their legacies are washed out in, in those uh, 24 hours that the flood happened. We started when we learned about the flooding uh, back in June, and when we learned that Sexica was uh, affected greatly, uh, a lot of families were you know, their homes were flooded completely and, and they were displaced from their homes. So TransCanada, wanting to be a good neighbor, um, well, through me, we contacted them to see how we could help. Two women came from TransCanada and said they're donating bedding and blankets and houses like oh my gosh as we move into these houses and back into our homes we're missing stuff we threw out a lot of stuff because they smelled they were contaminated even upstairs we threw out a lot of our belongings upstairs because that that smell permeated throughout so this is uh trans canada's way of helping us get back into <laughs> Nice, safe, clean, warm beds at night. I think Sixika has been tremendous, working with us side by side. We have volunteers from the community. We have people like Costco that have donated a lot of expertise and time. We have a Highland Moving Company that donated two trucks and the drivers to bring the goods today. So it's been a true partnership between community industry and the Sixika people, so it's been fantastic. TransCanada has such a big heart and angels in disguise, like it's, it's overwhelming. I'm very thankful for them and it's, you know, if I could hug all of you, I'd hug all of you. <laughs>